Hey, what's going on summoners? Welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Crumbs and today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the strongest solo carries for patch 1215. While some of these champions may have been strong for a while now, we thankfully have a few new ones to add to our list. So we're going to be breaking down what makes them so good as well as going through a quick rundown of how you can itemize like a pro. Nonetheless, let's dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, we've got Shen in the top lane. Ever since he got a few small buffs, Shen has held his spot as one of the best tanks in the game. He offers great utility, strong laning, high DPS, and even a global ultimate. With the changes to teleport and an increase in skirmishes, Shen has slowly become one of the best laners in the game. If the fight breaks out, he can easily show up before needing an unleashed teleport. Plus, his ultimate shield is massive later on in the game and can make an ally borderline unkillable. Overall, if you want a strong tank that can 1v9 games, Shen is a perfect choice. Diving into Shen's itemization, be sure to take Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. You can take Teleport if you feel like you don't need Ignite to win the matchup, and for your runes, you'll be taking Grasp, Shield Bash, Second Wind, Revitalize, Cheap Shot, and Ultimate Hunter. These runes will give you great trading windows to let you scale into the late game. Finally, for your items, you'll want to build Frostfire Gauntlet, Plated Steel Caps, Titanic Hydra, Thorn Mail, Force of Nature, and finish off with either Anathema's Chain for additional defense, or a Demonic Embrace for some extra damage. While it can be great to pick up a champion with a high win rate, it may not always work out. Sometimes you won't click with certain champions and you'll need a bit of help to learn their mechanics and master their playstyles. But not to worry, Summoner here at Pro Guides, we've got your back. With our in-depth guides, we can help take your early game strengths to the next level. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry though. We have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family. Let's get back into our video and dive into the next champion. Up next, we've got Aatrox Top. While Aatrox is healing as well as multiple bruiser items were nerfed a while ago, it hasn't seemed to have stopped him from climbing the ladder. His powerful laning, great skirmishing, and overall sustain are making him a strong contender in the top ranking for top lane champions. While he may not offer the utility that Shen does, Aatrox is able to dive into teams and stall out enemies with his powerful damage, mobility, and lifesteal. Overall, if you're looking for a bruiser that can carry games through sheer power, then Aatrox is the pick for you. Taking a look at his itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. For your runes, be sure to take Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Second Wind, and Revitalize. These runes will let you scale into a life-stealing behemoth later on in the game. For your actual items, you'll be grabbing Eclipse, Plated Steel Caps, Black Cleaver, Cerildia's Grudge, Death Stance, and finish off with a Maw of Malmordius. You can swap Eclipse for a Gore Drinker if necessary, but we recommend trying out Eclipse first. See if you like it. It's pretty good right now. Taking us into the jungle role, we've got none other than Rek'Sai herself. Rek'Sai is a powerful early game jungler that can deal a ton of damage with little to no items. With this raw DPS, she's able to win early invades and fights with ease. Not to mention that thanks to her tunnel ability, she can gank from unconventional angles. While she may not be the easiest to play at first, with enough practice, she can dominate the rift. So if you're looking for a strong early game jungler, then be sure to check her out. Moving on to Rek'Sai's itemization, be sure to take Flash and Smite as your summoner spells. Blue Smite will help your early game burst, so be sure to grab your Hailblade. For your runes, be sure to take Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. You won't have the instant burst from Hail of Blades, but overall, your fighting and DPS will be increased with these runes. For your actual items, you'll be building Prowler's Claw, Plated Steel Caps, Edge of Night, Death Stance, Maw of Malmordius, and finish it all off with a Guardian Angel. Our next jungle pick is Fiddlesticks. He has received quite a few buffs within the past few patches, and his increased win rate shows how strong they were. Not only did Riot buff Fiddle's damage and fear, but they also increased his stats to help his early survivability. At the moment, Phil is in a place where once he hits 6, he can absolutely demolish entire teams. If the enemy team ever falls behind, you and your allies can use vision control to scare the enemy from ever walking into the fog of war. 
Overall, if you're looking for a snowbally AP jungler, Fiddlesticks is likely your best bet right now. Looking into his itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Smite as your summoner spells. You'll be specifically taking Blue Smite or Hailblade since the slow end damage from Blue Smite is extremely powerful on Fiddle. For your runes, you'll be running First Strike, Perfect Timing, Futures Market, Cosmic Insight, Sudden Impact, and Ultimate Hunter. These runes will let you get an early lead thanks to the bonus gold you'll get your hands on. As for your items, you'll be building Hextech Rocket Bell, Sork Shoes, Zhonyas, Shadow Flame, Rabadons, and Void Staff. Feel free to grab Void before Rabadons instead if you feel like you really need the magic pen. Whew, let's take a quick break from all these champions and move on to our favorite pro guides tradition. Today we want to ask you all what champion have you been playing recently with great success? It doesn't matter if the champion has a 60% win rate or a 40% win rate. Let us know why they feel strong to you. Personally for me, it's Volibear. No matter how much he gets nerfed, the simplicity of his kit makes me a very consistent player and all my teams know exactly how to play around it, which makes it so much easier to just commit communicate with a ping and get results. But that's what I have to say, and we wanna hear from you. Regardless of what your answer may be, let us know down in the comments below. Now let's get back into the video and dive into our next few champions. In the mid lane, we've got none other than the Kingmaker himself, it's Silas. Thanks to an increase in skirmish meta, Silas has made his yearly reappearance as one of the strongest champions in the game. While he may not be as OP as he usually is, he's definitely a strong champion at the moment. He offers great utility, burst, strong laning, and thanks to his ultimate, he has a fairly versatile style of play. So if you're looking for someone that can punish teams for picking champions like Malphite, Seraphine, or even Nautilus, then make sure you pick up Silas. Taking a look at his itemization, you'll be running Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Second Wind, and Unflinching. If you don't need as much tenacity, you can swap Unflinching to Revitalize for additional sustain. For your actual items, you'll be grabbing Everfrost, Lucidity Boots, Zhonyas, Cosmic Drive, Rabadons, and finish off with a Void Staff. These items will give you the CDR needed to kite around enemies and keep yourself alive with your W. Moving on to our next champion, we've got none other than Diana. For similar reasons as Silas, Diana has become a popular pick in the mid lane. She's a great skirmisher that can dominate the laning phase and punish picks like Corki from safely scaling. On top of this, she's able to teamfight like no other thanks to her double dash and ultimate dealing a ton of AoE damage. While Sunfire Diana is still being played every once in a while, her full burst build is starting to shine yet again. Overall, if you want a champion that can burst entire teams with their kit, then be sure to pick up Diana. Diving into her itemization, you're going to be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be running Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, and Treasure Hunter with Mana Flow Band and Gathering Storm. These runes will give you great burst in both the early and mid game. You can then snowball your lead into a win. As for your items, you'll be building Hextech Rocket Belt, Sork Shoes, Shadow Flame, Zhonyas, Rabadons, and top it all off with a Void Staff. You can stall out Zhonyas until your last item if you don't need it to survive. Sometimes it is better to get more damage and delete the enemy team rather than stall out your damage. Now that we've finished up with the mid laners, let's move on to the bot lane and start things off with the recently reworked Sivir. Ever since her mid scope update, Sivir has been one of the best marksmen in the game and it's for good reason. She can clear entire waves with ease while also keeping herself relatively safe. On top of this, she scales and becomes an absolute monster once she hits three items as she's able to shred entire teams with her ultimate and W, giving constant cooldown reduction and damage. Overall, if you're looking for an easy to play AD carry that can carry games with little to no effort, look no further than Sivir. For her itemization, be sure to take Flash and Heal as your summoner spells. You can take Exhaust instead if you need extra peel to deal with Assassins or Engaged Champions or even a Ghost. For your runes, you'll be taking Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Cut Down, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. This rune page is made to keep you safe in the early game and let you scale until you can dominate teamfights with your raw damage. Finally, for your actual items, you'll be building Kraken Slayer, Berserker's Greaves, Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, Lord Dominic's Regards, and finish off with either a GA for some survivability or a Bloodthirster for some bonus lifesteal and sustain. 
Introducing herself yet again as one of the best bot laners in the game, we've got Seraphine. While Riot tries again and again to slightly lower her numbers, Seraphine is extremely resilient and holds an incredibly high win rate. Her great kit offers the safest laning in the game, high utility, fairly good damage, and one of the best team fighting ultimates in the game. On top of all this, she's easy to pick up and get used to thanks to her low skill floor. Overall, if you're looking for a strong mage bot laner that can dominate games, be sure to check out Seraphine. With how Riot has been treating her, we expect her to be a top tier pick for the rest of the season. Moving on to her itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Heal as your summoner spells. You can also take Teleport if you're in a lane where you can safely CS the entire time. This will often be the case when facing someone like Ezreal or Sivir. For your runes, you'll be taking Summon Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. These runes will give you a nice early game while preparing you for your powerful 3 item spike. Speaking of which, for your items, you'll be running Leandris, Lucidity Boots, Archangel's Staff, Rylice, Chemtech Putrefire, and finishing off with either a Rabadon's or a Cosmic Drive. Feel free to swap out the Putrefire for Archangel's Staff earlier on if your team needs the anti-heal. Before we continue on to the end of the video, if you want to join an amazing community of people like you that love lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So what are you waiting for? Join us! Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and take a look at our last few champions. Starting our support list, we've got Janna as one of the best supports right now. Ever since Glacial was introduced, Janna has been abusing it with great success. That paired with her mini rework allowed her to become an even stronger peel champion than ever before. She can instantly throw out a long range tornado that'll slow entire teams and prevent them from ever engaging. If all else fails, she can use her shield and ultimate to save her allies. Overall, if you're looking for an enchanter that is a master at peeling for their allies, then look no further than Janna. Looking at her itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Exhaust as your summoner spells. If you somehow find yourself in a lane where you can pick up a ton of kills, then feel free to take Ignite instead for additional damage. For your runes, you'll be taking Glacial, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Font of Life, and Revitalize. This will increase your peel power while also giving you some nice bonuses like free boots and increased shielding. For your actual items, you'll be grabbing Spell Thieves and building Moonstone, Lucidity Boots, Chemtech Putrefy, Redemption, and Watchful Wardstone. Last, but certainly not least, we've got the Gem Master himself, it's Taric. Taric has recently made a comeback in the meta due to most enchanters and their items being nerfed. While a lot of engaged champions are also struggling to find a home, Taric is doing well in this odd in-between within the support role. He is both a tank and an enchanter. His high utility and great skirmish power make him a fantastic pick in the current meta. While not many people play him anymore, don't be afraid to test him out. As long as he can attack something, Taric can theoretically heal infinitely and can constantly throw out stuns and shields. Plus, his invulnerability from his ultimate is no joke either. Overall, if you're looking for a great mix of enchanter and engage, then look no further than Taric. Diving into his itemization, be sure to take Flash and Exhaust as your summoner spells. You can take Ignite here if you're able to attack the enemy and look for early kills. For your runes, you'll be taking Glacial, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Conditioning, and Revitalize. These runes will help you keep enemies in range so that you can constantly proc your passive. As for your actual items, you'll be building a Relic Shield and then Locket, Plated Steel Caps, Winter's Approach, Frozen Heart, and Watchful Wardstone. Be sure to pick up your tier ASAP so you can start sacking it early. You will need the mana. And that sums up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join our Pro Guides family over at ProGuides.com where we offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you just won't catch anywhere else. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, good luck on the rift and may the LP gods smile down upon you.